Now, stakeholders have called on the Lagos State government, well-meaning Nigerians and corporate organizations to come to the aid of pupils of a community school, Eagle Swing School, Ararami Ilajeba Riga. Now, plus the news, which has been following the story of development in the school, that caters to orphans and the vulnerable since 2022. In this update, reports that the school has undergone some facelift amid other challenges. Details now. Pushing through the boundaries education has to offer in a bid to break the weight of illiteracy, child labor, and promoting community literacy have remained important, especially in view of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. Ararumi in Ilajebariga, a fishing community in Lagos, Nigeria, is one of the many communities striving to attain this feat where the children are born with the weight of illiteracy and the life of labor, especially as their parents, illiterate themselves, see no future beyond fishing, hawking, and the life of mediocrity. Plus TV News has been following the story of the Eagle Wing School in Ararumi Bariga, where stakeholders have been striving that the orphans and the vulnerable children in the community access education in a conducive atmosphere. Honestly, we, what we really want to do is to bridge the gap between the advantaged and disadvantaged children. The dream is really to see a, a community, a Bariga community, where the children here are as exposed as the children in other parts of Lagos and other parts of Nigeria. Two years ago, the children whose classroom was a hole in a dilapidated building with little or no comfort were holed up together as volunteers offered what semblance of learning they could impact in the children. Today, the children's learning environment may have improved, but the volatile community has robbed them of all the basic essentials. Prompting stakeholders appeal to kind-natured Nigerians to assist the children, especially as their parents do not care for their education. We want to make sure that we do the fence because there's currently no fence and there, um, this is a very volatile area. There are some you know, thugs in the area that come into the school to steal and the school is saying, please help us reach out to people. We need security, we need to fix the fence and we also need to fix the bathrooms for the children so that the bathroom is more conducive. One of the biggest challenges we had with our children was the fact that this community being so vulnerable, most of the families and the parents wanted their children to work from a young age. Yet this morning we were discussing about a young boy who is only um, eight years old and uh, the father was a mechanic and now this young boy is learning to be a mechanic from the age of eight. Yes, we are begging the Lagos State government to come and assist us because these children are his children also. Because we beat them from the community to come and learn. And gave them three essential things. That is food, education, and health. If they are sick, we rush them to the health center. You understand? At times they do hospitalize them, but to the, to, to the glory of God, three days or four days, they will be discharged. So we are just begging, because this structure was done by Hans at work last year, 2020. As the educators, NGOs and partners continue to push the knowledge that it is a boundary breaker, they said it is important to ensure that in a community where education is relegated, illiteracy and labor do not overshadow the dreams and future of the children. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.